Hello everyone, this is Harley from Garden FL, and in today's video we're actually going to be checking out the cherry ladder tree and as well as the cherry ladder graphs that I've been doing on my other or known as to see how they're taking. Now it is currently April 20th of 2021 and the cherry ladder tree is starting to push out its new flower growth as well and its new leaf growth so we're going to be checking on to see how all that is doing today. So right here in my house in Bradenton, Florida is my cherry ladder tree. Now it is currently April 20th and like I said it is starting to push new growth out of everywhere and not only that but the cherry ladder is actually loaded with baby flowers incoming as you see these are the baby cherry ladder flowers and they're looking really beautiful already as they start to form as you see they look very much like uh, custard apple flowers but overall the tree is pushing out flowers literally on every branch i'm just super excited because this cherry ladder is a very you know vigorous in flowering and growing and this is just the bottom of the tree as you see moving up we do have more flowers popping out of everywhere. So right now, this is currently the best time to graft anonas, you know, when they start to push out and wake up from dormancy. So I actually did graft this cherry lata onto both anona reticulata and anona squamosa. So we're gonna check out where we grafted the cherry lata. As you see right here is a anona reticulata. Now this anona reticulata, believe it or not, is uh, from seed reticulata and, it's, uh, and it was of a red custard apple. But as you see overall, this Anona reticulata is a really beautiful tree and we do have new growth pushing out of the Anona reticulata. So this is why I decided to graft it onto this rootstock only because it was also pushing out a new growth. As you see right here is where I did the grafts of the cherry lata onto Anona reticulata. Here's a better look at the graft. As you see right here is actually pushing out. That is actually a cherry lata leaf forming. And as you see, it's actually budding out again right here and right there at the tip as well going down the cherry lata scion as you see it's pushing out one more bud right there and i did the cleft graft on here the modified cleft graft now i did actually graft another scion onto this reticulata but it doesn't seem to be taking as of yet as you see right here it hasn't pushed as of yet i don't know if it will but as you see overall that is the reticulata tree already pushing out its new growth and it already is pushing out my reticulata now i have cherry lata on this tree as well as cherry lata on obviously on this cherry lata tree the original cherry lata so we're going to see where i also grafted cherry lata onto over here now this is kind of my uh, cocktail tree now this is actually a nona scomosa rootstock now this nona scomosa is planted in a 30 gallon pot but the nona scomosa is pretty girthy the base but going up as you see it just has a really nice base but actually right over here is actually where i grafted the cherry lata scion and as you see the cherry lata seems to be pushing out a flower as you see here is a better look of the cherry lata scion and over there is a flower it's kind of hard to tell but it's a little tiny flower bud forming right there and i did a modified cleft graft as well with this cherry lata scion and like i said i also tied it right there and tying it like that seems to help the connection between the cambium layers and i've seen a lot of people use sandwich ties so sandwich ties work very good to uh, you know add more pressure to those cambium contact points but overall i'm really excited for this one just because if this cherry lata is compatible with uh, anona scomosa rootstock i do have a lot of anona scomosa and then right here i also grafted this is purple sugar apple onto just regular green sugar apple anona scomosa so we're gonna see if these take within the next few weeks but overall i'm really excited to see that my grafts are taking just because believe it or not these are some of my first grafts that i've done I've actually did mini grafts in the past before, but none of my grafts have made it. So it's cool to see that now my technique that I'm using now is a technique that actually is working. And now I feel much more confident in grafting just because this technique works. So it's cool to be grafting cherry lata just because cherry lata is one of those known as that is not really as spread as of now. I do think within, you know, a year to two years, a lot more people will have access to the sign wood. And just because I know a lot of my friends, I do have cherry lata have been grafting it this season and have a lot more for sale. So I'm happy to know that, you know, other people are gonna be able to have access to these cherry lata scions and, you know, be able to grow this very vigorous uh, Nona here in Brayton, Florida, just because the cherry lata is a really cool Onona to have and to grow in your yard. And it's also very tasty too. Like this Onona is very comparable to uh, Atemodia and like a superior sugar apple. So thank you guys so much for watching this video on my cherry ladder tree as well as the cherry ladder grafts I'm doing. I'm really looking forward to updating you guys all on how the cherry ladder grafts overall form. And also I'm looking forward to making a, a known grafting video just because I want to share the technique I use. It's very easy and very simple. And I used to be very scared of grafting just because all the grafts I used to do failed miserably. But I'm happy to actually finally be seeing results and knowing that I can do it now. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. 
I hope you guys have a great day and I can't wait to update you in the future on how the anona grafts are doing as well as when this cherry lattice starts to flower and we'll be able to start to hand pollinate that. So stay tuned for those videos in the future. I'm Harley from Garden FL and I hope you have a good day. Bye bye now.